Hello, hello everybody, this is Minecralix here, and welcome to episode 4 of Minecraft Diamond Super Flat Survival, and as you can see, we are currently being stormed by some of the mobs, but not to worry, because the spider that seems to be glitching under here is just simply a texture, and he's not actually in our house, apparently it glitched out because there's so many spiders walking on top of there, and of course we got our zombie over there, and let's see, is the difficulty on hard? Well, that's kind of weird because I thought that on hard difficulty the zombies would break down the doors. I'm not really sure if that was implemented back in 1.7.10. So let's just go ahead and sleep real quick. Oh, yeah, that's also the reason why I moved my bed down there. So, as you can see, we can't skip the night because um, we have all these monsters here. So, let me just go ahead and... Actually, it would be nice to have a little bit more lighting here. I kind of feel like it's a little bit dark. Here, so... Um, let's see, so what can I do? So if I go underneath here, let's see. Oh, I have 42 ladders, okay, I'll just use that. So if I go underneath here, can I just mine under here and then try to try to get down to... I'm sure that I have, I have a tunnel somewhere here. Oh, there we go, right here's the tunnel, so let's see. So I'm going to try to go ahead and uh, connect this to this staircase as well, so... It, it'd be nice to put a trapdoor there just to make sure no creepers or anything get in there. I'm not really sure if that's going to be an issue, but I think that mobs not, might be able to actually... I think mobs will, will only climb stairs. I'm not sure. I don't think they can ever actually go down. Um, same as if you actually put mobs into uh, a water or a stream, they're always going to... The, the, the mob artificial intelligence, the mob AI will tell them to... Uh, to go up and then they're just gonna keep on jumping up and that's also when they hit a stair when they hit a ladder or something like that they're just gonna go only up because the the mob AI basically what programs the mobs it tells them to go upwards by pressing the space button um, so yeah, I'm not sure let me see well I'm not really sure how we're gonna be able to fill this in and actually I kinda didn't think this through but there's so many there's so much diamond ore but we can't actually collect we cannot actually collect the diamond ore because uh, like you know when we mine diamond ore we just get diamonds and to get the diamond ore block itself we're gonna need to have a silk touch pickaxe which we, which we might have someday but as you can see I can't replace this space with diamond ore blocks to make it look symmetrical just simply because I do not have access to getting uh, the diamond ore block item in my inventory so that I can actually place it down where I want to. Anyway, so let's just, let's see, I'm just going to make a little ledge here just so I can walk around, maybe, maybe put a little chest here or something, this is going to be our mining area. I can hear some, yeah, as you can see, we already have some visitors, so let's go ahead and, um, would it be, so maybe we might, yes, yeah, so let's just go back here just to make an, a complete entire 360 degree square area here, so, um, and then let's just have a ladder going upwards and up right over here, there we go, nice quite handy right next to the exit although this act this, this might actually be pretty bad because as you have no um as some of you probably know um the the hitbox for some of the mobs especially in 1.7.10 the version that i'm currently playing on um and right now some of the hitboxes are miscalculated somewhat or i guess it's just the thickness of the door because sometimes if there's a zombie out there and you come up this close to the door the zombie can actually hit you through the door and i'm not really sure how long this has been going on in minecraft but uh, i think fairly for a long time uh judging by how how often the the zombies are able to hit hit players or mobs through um, through doors or through items that are supposed to protect the player or the mob standing behind them. A good example is actually um, villagers. Sometimes the villagers, if they stay near the door, they think that they're safe from the zombies, but the zombies can actually um, kill them through the door, so they don't even have to break through the door, they can just uh, consume the villager through the door, which I think is kind of inefficient and kind of sucks, because that means it's much harder to contain all of the villagers inside, oh, let's see, looks like we bought some, I think, where do we get this glass, oh, I think we bought the glass from some of the villagers, yeah, I think this is the chest, oh, I didn't know we had melons, 
Really gotta go ahead and plant some of that. Yeah, I'm really gonna have to revitalize and industrialize our little base here because this is way not enough. So let's see. Well, it's telling us that there's some monster nearby. So let me just drop the diamonds back in and see. Uh, Gunpowder back in. Okay, we don't need this. The, we don't need these books right here. So uh, let me put away the flesh. How do I even get that much flesh? Uh, let me put the stone slabs away. That's just gonna go into the the stone chest. Um, let's put the cobblestone away. Uh, let's just merge that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Well, we have some potatoes, so just put some of the potatoes away. Put the carrots back in here. So let's see. Where do we actually get? Oh, we have five black wool. Oh, why is that one right here? Okay, let's just merge this because I'm actually right now. I'm gonna try to go ahead and craft a bed. So. Uh, that's going to be my secondary bed, as you know, as you have just recently seen. I am unable to currently sleep in this bed, which is located right over here, because there's just tons of mobs swarming all around my base. I'm forced to actually go downstairs, and this is exactly what I'm going to use this spot for. So, as you can see, this is quite convenient, and as far as I know, hopefully it's not going to... There we go, finally. So, nice. Um, so, th then the next day... Yeah, we can still hear spiders climbing up there because uh, they don't actually despawn in the morning, as uh, probably most Minecraft players do. Oh, we can already hear the nice moans of the zombies burning down. Um, so let's see. Well, right now I'm going to try to make a trapdoor. I actually kind of forgot the recipe for trapdoors. Oh, this is going to make a fence gate. Let's see. Or, oh, we're supposed to... Okay, let's see. So as far as, no as, far as I know, this is going to make... A fence gate, there we go, but what happens if we go like this? Yeah, I have not actually crafted trapdoors in a while now. Oh, yeah, I think it's this. Oh, yes, finally. Yep, there we go. I've had some comments from people. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before. Oh, wow, we have way too many spiders up here. It would also be nice to have some type of uh, exit up there, so let me just go ahead and break this right here and... Let's just put a nice ladder up there, and as you can see, we have two trapdoors. We're going to use one trapdoor for the for the entrance to the underground mining area over there, and the second trapdoor just to prevent mobs from falling down into my base right here. So, first and foremost, i got to go ahead and eliminate these spiders right over here, which are probably... Oh, darn, there's too many of them. Okay, there we go. Let's see, I hope they're not, there's not any more. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah. I don't even know why there's so many spiders up here. So let's see. Oh yeah, I think back in... I think because we're playing in 1 point... Uh, let's see. 1.7.10. You can only place trapdoors like this. And let's see, what happens if I mine this block? Yep. Yeah, the trapdoors goes off. So let's see, let's just... I think this would be effective. So if we go like this, there we go. Nice. So let's put a torch up here. This is going to be our nice exits to the sky area to the roof up there let's see if we can hit that spider from here nope nope apparently the hitbox glitches only work for the mobs but not for the players oh wow it had so little health one hit kill it would also be nice to put some stairs here because i don't want to have to jump up all the time so this is also going to be a great place to put a uh, let's see let me just break some of this and uh there we go so we're going to have this lock up like this just to make sure that we don't have any, like I said before, any rogue uh, mobs going down there. Let's just place a torch right here. Let's place the torch right here. Let's eliminate that. There we go. Nice. Um, let's see. What else do I need to do to modernize my little base here? Um, it would help to actually place torches around the perimeter right here. So let's see, as you can see, let's just go by twos. Let's uh, place all these torches down uh, by two, by two right here. Nice and symmetric. Oh, this is so satisfying. Finally, I can get some torches to be placed in a correct order. Oh my god, there's a spider over there. I can finally get to place torches in a complete symmetrical order order and parallel and perpendicular to each other um, it's I think it's quite satisfying uh, I'm not really sure if anyone uh, if anyone viewing has actually OCD uh, I heard a lot of people say that Minecraft uh, 
makes people with OCD very, very anxious because they don't like seeing unorganized things or something. It really depends on the type of OCD that people have. I'm not going to judge, but I don't know. Common thing that some people refer to in in Minecraft, so let's see. Okay, let's block this spider off from this water stream. Let's go ahead. Oh, wow. Somehow got some... Somehow got... We somehow got some bones. Oh, that's probably because um, I think a skeleton burned down. That's why it's like that. So let's see. So it looks like there's there's quite a lot of gravel here. Might we be able to acquire some flint? Let's see. Do we even need flint? Oh, actually, here's one thing that we really do need. We need more iron ingots. So and um, we need more iron ingots so we can collect the lava. So to do that, we're gonna have to go to other villages so let's see oh we already have five flint and let's see so i'm gonna take s two stacks of cobblestone and let's go ahead let's see i'm gonna take some more i'm gonna take all the food that i have and let's go ahead and embark on oh i can hear some skeletons might there be some skeletons in there i think oh yeah so yeah, we're gonna have to light up these houses a little bit better because as you can see, there's just mobs spawning in there during the daytime. No worry, there we go. Not even a uh, heart of health go, uh, went down. So let's see, let's just place two torches somewhere around here just to make sure that no more mobs spawn here. Um, it's just a nuisance, so let's see how it's around, oh, it's a bit past midday. Time travels so fast in Minecraft and in kind of in real life also, so. Let's go ahead to the next neighboring village. Um, as far as I know, if I have cobblestone blocks here, then I have already vi visited the village in that oh, in that direction over there. So uh, after I reach the village over there, I'm going to have to either go in a different direction or try to go further so I can find more villages. So I can... Um, so that... Oh yeah, there we go. I think I remember going to that village. Um, so hopefully the next village after that is going to have a blacksmith because that's exactly what I'm searching for. I need to find a blacksmith because inside blacksmiths, um, there's probably most of Minecraft, most of you guys who are Minecraft players who are watching this already know, but a blacksmith is basically is basically a, a procedurally generated building in a village which basically specifies in making types of weaponry and let's see yeah so as you can see this this uh, village does not have uh, this village doesn't have this do, this village doesn't have a blacksmith chest because by the shape and by the color of the buildings that you can see there's no blacksmiths there if there were to be a blacksmith it would have um, the distinctive look of a blacksmith including it would have uh, smooth stone slabs on the top of it which is the I think it's the only building a procedurally generated building in villages in Minecraft that actually has um, has smooth stone uh, yeah it's a, it's like a half block yeah it's a slab so um, they have on top of the roof in a in kind of a in a square fashion around the edges of the roof a uh, blacksmith has stone slabs put all around it all around the perimeter of the roof and you can easily tell whether or not let's see wow that's quite far we should place these blocks a little bit more often so let's see let's try to let's try to um I'm gonna go into my back camera view so I can see how often I need to place cobblestone blocks. I actually used to place cobblestone blocks like pretty much every second or so, just so I wouldn't get lost. But nowadays, I don't really think that it's that effect uh, that that effect that efficient or that effective to have uh, so many cobblestone blocks every year because that's just gonna drain my cobblestone supplies, which I really really need right now because, as you know, uh, well. If you had actually watched the last episode, I was actually talking about building a large base for myself. And to make a base, I'm going to have to make um, a high wall to make sure that mobs can get through, cannot get through. I'm also going to try to make a base that's immune to, to spiders somehow. I think that I'm going to have to make a ditch for spiders so that they can... Um, so that they won't be able to get in because sometimes it's very annoying when I'm going around in my base and I'm just, you know, collecting mob drops from my mob grinder 
just doing the normal stuff, just doing farming, making redstone stuff, and I have spiders climbing over the walls. It's extremely annoying, and if I do have the resources and the time to, to make a type of uh, a spider-proof base, which is going to require... Uh, quite a bit of time and a little bit of additional work like for example a good design to a good design for a uh, for a spider proof base would to be wow why are there, why are there no villages we have been running for so long anyway so I've been like I said before I've been wanting to make a spider proof base and some of the ways that you can make one is by making a ditch so uh, you're basically gonna have you're basically gonna have your uh, base surrounded by water or lava or uh, or, or by just an empty space. Well, it's probably not going to work uh, because the spiders are still going to be able to climb up. So um, you probably would want it surrounded by lava or by um, by water, maybe. But I don't know. I think if it's water, then the spiders can just swim through the water. Also, I think there have been designs where you use sand or something like that to to try to get the spiders not to, to try to get the spiders not to climb on that. But I'm not really sure. In 1.7.10, in the version of Minecraft that I'm playing in, can spiders actually climb sand? Because uh, depending on the version of Minecraft that you're playing on, some actually s in some versions spiders were not able to climb sand. So um, making making an uh, making an additional sand barrier in addition to your regular barrier would pretty much prevent all spiders from being able to climb through. Um, through your defenses and 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 be and they, they wouldn't be able to get into your base. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on that in terms of uh, knowing what I can do to make my base spider proof. But uh, of course, spiders aren't my most con are my biggest concern. I just want to wall off my base just to make sure that uh, my base. Wow. It's quite beautiful. So many diamonds everywhere. It's actually getting a little bit. I don't know if it's just me, but my eyes are kind of getting a little bit. Uh, look at all those diamonds. Looking at all, all those repeating diamond patterns kind of makes my eyes tired out a little bit. Um, I don't know about you guys, but a lot of diamonds isn't really good because all these diamonds are pretty much useless to me for other than. Uh, and we already have mob spawning. Where the heck are all the darn villages? Actually, now that I think about it, I think that the reason... I think that the reason why there's no villages is because we're actually in 1.7.10. And now that I think about that, that actually makes a lot of sense because I'm currently playing on the... Oh, there's actually a village! I'm so glad I have been running for so long. I really did not expect that to take that long. I was literally running for almost half a day. So if I were to run here at, like run here straight in the morning and return back here back to my base, that would pretty much take the whole day in Minecraft. So let's go ahead and try to see if there's a blacksmith. Okay, let's see. Now, let's see if we can possibly find some sort of Now, I'm not really going to try to care for much of the villages, although kind of there we go. It's okay. Anyways, let's see any mobs there? Any mobs there? Oh, no mobs there. So let's see. Let's just block this off because I don't want mobs to get in here. Um, so as you can see, let me just uh, reiterate real quick. So yeah, I knew this was gonna happen. Ah, uh, I have diamond armor. Nothing much to worry about. Anyways, so as you can see, like I said before. Uh, Blacksmiths are the only buildings that have the the uh, half half slabs, the smooth stone half slabs on them. So let's oh let's see what you guys trade. Okay, well that's bad. I accidentally let some villagers out. Let's see. Oh this is pretty useful. We can get some XP from him from him. Actually now that I think about it, it's not very useful because I already have enough XP because I can just use diamond. Uh, all the diamonds around here to mine them and just to use them as an XP farm. Let me just put a torch here. I just don't want any mobs to spawn. Anyways, let's just look over and see if there's any other blacksmiths or any or anything other that might interest us. And you, as and as you can see, pretty much all the buildings have um, have a wooden roof and are mostly made out of wood, except for well, I mean, if, except for this building right here, which is actually a church and. Um, the blacksmith building over there, which, as you can see, 
the edges of the roof are lined by smooth stone slabs so it's actually very useful if you're actually uh, depending on the type of world that you're playing and actually this reminds me of Minecraft Water World Super Flat Survival which is another series that I do in Minecraft um, Water World Super Flat Survival it's basically instead of having 90 blo uh, 90 blocks of diamond and um, and on that below I have 90 blocks of water and you actually spawn underwater and actually all the villages spawn underwater too on I think they spawn on top of the sand so um, and so basically, whenever the villagers spawn, they make these huge air blocks type type of things that go all the way up to the surface. And I can take a boat to go from village to village, and it's very easy to see whether or not a village actually has a blacksmith or not. Because uh, by the way that you can see the roof, so a good way to uh, know quickly without having to run around the village, a good way to know quickly what buildings uh, a village has is just to go up high like I am right now which is actually the church is a great place to go to know what kind of buildings a village has because you're pretty much able to see the village from all directions except for a few of the places over there oh wow we have quite a bit of mob spawnish over there anyway let's go ahead and check if there's anything important in that chest in that blacksmith chest okay let's try to let's try to land in that can we land in that oh come on yeah that was pretty close well yeah the diamonds armor getting a little beat up there so let's see Okay, can already hear some spiders there. Okay, fingers crossed. I really, really hope that there's going to be some uh, some iron ingots in there. There we go. Awesome. That's pretty much the only thing that I got. I could have probably gotten some obsidian or something else, but that's pretty much the only thing that I really need. So, Actually, we have enough iron that we can actually craft a bucket right now, which I'm not actually going to do. So now that I'm thinking about it, should I actually... What should I do now? Should I actually go back to my base, or should I just end the episode here? Uh, well, I'm not going to stay the night, so I'm probably going to have to go back to my base. So, uh, let's just go ahead and quickly run through. Actually, you know what will be effective? Since, we, since we're since we already here, let me just go ahead and craft... Why do we still get that achievement? It's, that's quite redundant. So, if we can craft a bucket, then we can collect lava from over here so we can get lava and then I can collect the lava so we're gonna have more lava so that we're not gonna have to go back to this village anymore and then let's see after that I'm gonna go ahead and um, collect this collect the, these iron bars over here there we go put that back now it would be nice if I was able to collect this other piece of lava but at least we can get one lava uh, back to our base and actually our base is actually inside a blacksmith so inside our base we have two more uh, iron bars and we actually have two more sources of lava so uh, that way we're not gonna have a shortage of lava also because we don't we only I think we only need like two I thought I heard a creeper about to explode, but thankfully that was just me. So let's just go ahead and get past all this. Okay, maybe let's connect them. Oh, Spidey. There we go. Let's go ahead and collect some uh, some carrots. There we go. Nice. And uh, let's let's head back home. So let's see where is our where did we come from? So this is where it becomes very important, actually. Oh, actually, I want to still collect some bookshelves. So let's see. Oh, thankfully no mobs were spawning here because I was kind of worrying about that. Uh, so one thing that I totally forgot about is collecting the bookshelves, which is very important. I'm gonna try to collect all the important things that a village can provide me with. Uh, so it looks like there's a second library here. So let's go ahead and kill this zombie too. I'm still surprised. Why are not? Why are they not knocking down the door? I mean, the difficulty is hard for. Oh my god. That was a close call. What the heck just happened? Oh my god, did you even see that XP there? There's so much. Die, creeper. Die. Okay, so it looks like the villagers are quite... Oh my god. Nice. Actually, I'm not gonna... When I fight skeletons, I'm not going to try to knock them away because I just got to try to get close to them. Anyway, so let's just go ahead and collect the rest of... Now, unfortunately, the villagers now don't have a home. And they... And their library has been destroyed. 
But I find it kind of interesting how villagers are so... Oh, it's almost daytime now. Now we can see the sunrise. So let's see. Now now let's finally head back home. Let's see. We got 42 books. We got three iron ingots. Uh, I call this visit extremely successful. I think that we did a lot in this episode. And as soon as I get back home, we're going to end the episode. Uh, so probably in the next few episodes, we're going to start going to the nether. Because uh, now that we have more, let's just run away from them. Oh, maybe we can get some. Maybe we can get some skeletons to kill the uh, the creeper, and then that way we might get some musical records for our uh, disc player. Oh yeah, I think in our base we let me just eat before more mobs spawn. Actually, more mobs aren't going to spawn because it's already sunrise. So hopefully, there's not going to be as much mobs now. Well, it is going to take us like half a day to get back to our base because. If you remember clearly, it took us very, very long, a very, very long time to get to this village. It really depends on how long it takes. It can take different amounts of time. I've actually been in villages. I've traveled from village to village when uh, some of the villages were actually so close together that you could see one village over there and see the next village over there, and it took you only about you know 30 or so seconds to get from one village to another. But to get from from this village back to the village over there, which I'm going to, which my base is located in, it probably takes around five or so minutes. And that I'm not really even sure if it's five minutes or so, but uh, it's half a day in Minecraft, and I think a day cycle in Minecraft is 22 minutes or something. So uh, you can that's that's a good way to measure t uh, time in in the real world using the 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 current position of the sun in Minecraft. Uh, and let's see, well, half a day. So if the whole day and night cycle comprises 22 minutes, I think it's 11 minutes is daytime. And 11 minutes is nighttime. And then if you half 11, if you uh, divide 11 by 2, which is just going to be half of the day, then you're going to get around 5 or so minutes. So, yeah, so let's see. So as you can see, the sun's already rising and the sun should be right about the sun should probably reach around the azimuth and the azimuth is basically the highest point that the sun will go and that's like the the vertical part if you look directly up and the sun is directly above your head that's that's when the uh, that's when the sun is at the azimuth so that's how i call that uh, so the sun should be right uh, exactly right above me by the time that I get back to my base so that's gonna it's gonna take quite a long time so like I said before I'm gonna I'm planning to actually uh, go to the nether in the next uh, in the next few uh, in the next few episodes now we're gonna go ahead and explore some nether fortresses it's gonna be very interesting I'm gonna try to go ahead and I'm, I'm gonna try to maybe set up a mob grinder soon because I'm gonna need more uh, I'm kind of running low on mob drops in general. It would be really nice to have some arrows uh, because arrows are extremely important to go to the nether because it's kind of difficult to go to the nether without arrows since, well, you know, there's going to be a tons of ghasts and stuff and there's uh, there's pigmen, different mobs that you really don't want to deal with using melee weapons and that are just simply much better to deal with um, using a bow and arrow or some other forms of weaponry that exist in Minecraft. So let's just eat some more carrots. Let's fill up our bar. There we go. And wow, carrots really... Carrots are not very nutritional because there's this thing in Minecraft. I'm not really sure how many of you guys know that this thing exists, but in Minecraft there's there's this thing called uh, uh, food saturation. Basically, food saturation is actually a hidden... Uh, it's like a hidden type of, I guess, attribute to your food bar. And this basically, when you fill up your food bar, you know how when you eat steak or pork chop or like um, raw or like mutton, cooked mutton or or uh, cooked chicken in Minecraft, your food, your, your, um, your food bar in Minecraft usually it goes up and then it goes up a lot and then it usually takes a while for it to decrease but with um, with carrots when you eat them after a while your food decreases a lot too and what that basically does is because 
um, steak has better saturation than carrots, and that means that when you fill up your food meter by eating steak, you're going to actually saturate your uh, saturate your food bar, and it's going to take a longer time for you to lose each unit of uh, the food bar that you gained using a steak instead with the carrot. I guess it's just kind of made to look realistic because in it's kind of the same in real life because in real life if you're gonna eat like a very nutritional meal uh, or if you're gonna eat a lot of proteins like uh, like like uh, like a steak or or uh, or bacon or something like that it it's gonna keep you um, it's gonna keep you well fed for a while and it, you're not gonna be hungry for a long time if you eat a lot of it especially but if you're gonna eat like carrots or fruits or vegetables or something like that um, it's you're, it's not gonna it's not gonna be able to mi make you it's not gonna be able to fill you up as well as uh, it's not gonna be able to fill you up as well as it as well as uh, steak or foods high in protein do so let's see now where did my base go so let's see oh yeah this is I forgot this is not the village where my base is in because I had to pass through this village to get to that village over there so I'm actually gonna have to um, go ahead and pass through this village and I actually have to go to the next village as well and as you can see it's about it's almost about midday the Sun is pretty much exactly at the top of the sky so the Sun is directly above my head as you can see I'm looking directly up and that means that the sun is at that at its azimuth and we pretty much started running back when the sun just started rising so it takes longer than half a day to get from that village back to our base so that's quite a long way to run in minecraft especially in this huge vast expanse of never-ending diamond ore and super flatness but i'd like to say that the strip was quite useful because we acquired something that we really really needed which is of course our bucket so in the next episode i'm going to be casting more these two obsidian blocks and what casting is is basically when you um i'm going to put i'm going to set up a scaffolding around here well just basically like some supports by using cobblestone and then i'm going to pour lava in the block that i want cast and then i'm going to pour water on top of it and it's going to make obsidian here so i'm going to cast right here and right here and i'm just going to take one lava source from right over here and then i'm just going to use the same lava from over there um I'm going to use the next lot, the set, the third, the second lava source from my base over there uh, to set up a little area on here. And I'm going to put uh, wool, like I'm going to put like black wool or, or wool that I get from spider strings. And I'm going to place lava and I'm going to have the lava light the wool on fire, which is going to in turn light the portal on fire. And which is, and as most Minecraft players know, you have to actually light the nether portal for it to basically, you know, start functioning make it useful so that's uh that's my plans for the next episode so anyway let's just uh let me just organize this real quick and i'm gonna be ending the episode fairly soon oh wow we have some stone stairs where that come from uh let's see some spider eyes uh st string bone see gunpowder let's just place these uh, iron bars are here some rotten flesh the diamonds go over here I don't even know how we have diamonds but I think I mined some diamonds out somewhere probably while I was trying to get somewhere flint flint oh why do we have flint here and here let's just combine that yeah this isn't very well organized looks like uh, most of these stuff I organized these stuff back two years ago because that's when I actually started let's play I'm much better at organizing things in Minecraft than I um, so nowadays I'm much better at, at organizing things in Minecraft than I used to be so uh, just bear with me here uh, I like to have everything organized and of course when I build my next base somewhere out in when I build my next base somewhere out over there somewhere out of there with a huge fence around it to make sure that no spiders no mobs can get in of course I'm gonna make it very well organized and very well planned out that so that I can store all of my things and be protected from mobs and all the outside dangers that exist in the world of Minecraft. Uh, so let's see. Let's put the gravel back here. How do you know I have some cobblestone? Let's just place that back here. Uh, so let's see. Let's just 
Oh yeah, that's a glitch when you when you exit out of the menu. So as, as you can see, if I go into my inventory right after I close the chest, it glitches out and it plays the closing chest uh, sound once more. If you actually notice that, uh, so let's see. Let's put the law about bucket right over here. Let's put the iron sword over here. Uh, so there we go. And I'm gonna finish off the episode with. And let's put the carrots back away because we're gonna need some of them. And I'm gonna end the episode by placing some nice stone stairs here. So, anyways, once again, thank you very much for watching. This was this was Minecraft, and see you all in the next video.